No, sit down. Say hello. Hello. So today's studio vlog is going to be a little bit of like a mix and of things. Um, I'm going to be making some um, samples for Halloween. Um, I want to make like a My First Halloween shirt and a unicorn um, Halloween shirt. And then I also have um, to prep my sister's gift. Her birthday is on Tuesday and my mom and I got her, um, well we made her this little like gift set. Let me show you guys. I'm like really excited about it because I think it's so cute. Let's see bring it down. So we found this box on um, at Home Goods. Home Goods, yeah, at Home Goods, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. And the reason we liked it is because right now um, we're not really going out to our nail lady to get our nails done. We just think that it's better to do them at home. Just being a little bit more preventative um, when it comes to the whole when it comes to the whole pandemic thing. We just want to be careful and. Me and my sister and my mom, we all know how to do our nails, so we do our own nails. So look at my nails right now, there. I gotta do them, so they're not up to par of what I can do. <laughs> um, so we just keep going back and forth, and um, my sister will have the nail stuff, and then we'll have to ask her for it. And we, because she doesn't live here, we thought it'd be a good idea to gift her a whole gift set for her, so she has her own at-home gift set. Um, and we loved this little thing here because she can actually use it to do her nails on or put the gel machine. Um, so we got her, this is what the box looks like inside. This is uh, an embroidery vlog, but I want to show you guys her gift because I'm really proud of it. So if you want to skip, you can skip over this. But um, So we got her the um, UV light machine, it was like 60 bucks. We got her the top and base coat for the gel. A bunch of different gel colors. I got her some fall colors. Um, I got her the um, the cuticle remover, the um, little piece to push your cuticles back, um, the acetone. I got her. There's a little towel underneath here. Um, the buffers. I got her a, a foot buffer. I got her. Alpine Snow by OPI. This is one of our favorite colors. Her favorite color is actually um, Funny Bunny by OPI, but they didn't have, so I got her Alpine Snow because we also use that one. Some toe separators, some cuticle oil, and then I have the cotton balls, but they don't fit in here, so I'm going to just get it, give them to her separately. That's, that's my daughter singing. Um, so then what I'm going to do on the Cricut is I'm going to put on top Wendy's nail kit with like maybe like gold or white. I think I'm gonna do it in white. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I got her like these little bows to put on top, which she, I'm sure she can easily remove because this is wood. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But I think this is so cute. I got one for us here at the house too um, because I think it's just so aesthetically nice. Like you can put this on a shelf and no one will ever know that this is what you use to do your nails. Because what we have right now is fugly. So I finished it, and I'm gonna put it on the So now if I wanna put it up here or like in the center or like here at the bottom. I think I'm gonna put it here at the bottom. I don't think this is going to stick to it. 
What do I do? Oh, I really, it would have looked so good too. See how cute that would have looked? What do I do? Oh, I think it's because it's wood. I'll just show my sister this video and tell her that it would have looked cute, but because it's wood, nothing sticks on it. <sighs> what a waste. And that was my last piece of transfer paper, too. Well, I guess this is scrapped. I don't even think that the um, gift bow is going to fit on there because I don't think this will... Um, it's just a really coarse texture. I don't think that anything's going to stick on there. I'm going to get started on the designs right now for the onesies. And let's see what I come up with. We have it over there. Let's see what I come up with. Let me just put all of this stuff away. I can't work in a mess. Like I need to pick up. I need to pick up everything before I like sit down and start working because I cannot work with a mess around me. Okay, so I just realized I was gonna do the um, my first Halloween one with a pumpkin um, design, but I just realized I don't have orange fabric. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this design today. Um, I'm going to be doing the pumpkin and actually in like a glittery gold fabric. So I think that would be really cute for this pumpkin. Um, so yeah, I have to go and look for, uh, orange fabric. I don't know why for some reason I thought that I had bought some, but I was wrong. So I'm going to be doing this, um, design today. And then my mom's going to be doing a black tutu. Um with either purple or fuchsia trim. I'm not sure, it might be purple trims. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so I'm going to cut some, um, I'm gonna pre-cut some stabilizer. Me and my mom like to buy these um, rolls of stabilizer and then we just cut them out. Um, we try buying the um, pre-cut ones. For some reason, they're not the same quality they're like a grainier weirder quality i'm not sure but um you actually this is cheaper and you cut it precise to the hoop so we have these two bins here on one of the shelves um we have two bins one that says singer and one that says brother and we pre-cut the stabilizer and put them in here so that when we're doing orders it's just much easier to grab so now that we have caught up so now that we've caught up with all the orders i'm just gonna pre-cut some stabilizer and put it in the bins because we're out of the singer for the singer hoop which is a six by ten we cut um the stabilizer nine and a half inches wide and then the brother which is a five by seven hoop we cut eight and a half um wide Alright, so now they are pretty full. We have a bunch of um, ones for the Singer machine and a bunch for the Brother. Um, me and my mom just like to have everything like pre-cut. Like anything that we can have pre-ready so that when orders come in we can just get them out the door, we do. Um, we do it with our top selling shirts, like the shirts that we sell the most. We have... Um, pre-cut fabric with heat and bond already on it and then the order comes in we have it ready cut with the heat and bond we just start the shirt it just makes it for so much easier um, when you have to cut fabric and put heat and bond every single time an order comes in it just makes you it just takes forever it just it doesn't take forever but it just adds so much more time um, to making the order rather than like whenever you do have some downtime you can just pre-cut the fabric and um, Put the heat and bond on it like for the frozen fabric. We do this I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on my channel before but what my mom and I do is we have these samples with numbers like this 
Like I have a two, I have a five, I have a three, I have a, a one, I have all all the all the numbers. And um we and whenever we have downtime we with our frozen fabric we cut out the fabric on top of the numbers and then we put the numbers on the back. See like this is a two, here's a six, um, here's a five. Here's a five. So then that way when the order comes in, we can just look through these and see if we have um, the number of the order that comes in. Um, we do a lot of twos and threes. So of the threes and the twos, we have a lot of those. Um, so it just makes it for an easier order process. I recommend you guys do this. Um, I, we do it with our Makey shirts also. Um, what other, with our mini shirts we do it. Um, and yeah, anything that we can do, that we can shorten the time, we will do it. I've been here bored, but I have to stay afloat. It's nicer, be a person you don't want. Can somebody take me a the thing I to do? Going to do Where's a life I Where's my shy head Is this called living Oh no, oh no Where's a life I Where's my shy head Is this called living I don't know, I don't know I don't wanna grow Just live myself So this is the shirt. I actually love how it came out. You have the glitter and the horn and the glittery hat. And then I did a glittery gold on the pumpkin. And then everything is just glitter. And then my mom's gonna make a black tutu with purple trim. And I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to be making the um, my first Halloween onesie and I'll show you guys how that design is going to come out now. So here's the design for the my first Halloween onesie. I just bought um, the pumpkin applique and then I um, just put these... Um, I bought this font this font is called sweet pea embroidery font i bought it off of etsy and then this font just came with the um and brilliance design and then these are just actually dots from the font that i just made really big and then put as a decoration but i love how it came out i think it's gonna be really cute and i think it's the perfect first halloween onesie guys so I wanted to show you guys my new review cards for um, the stuff that I put inside of the packages when I ship my orders um, I think I've shown you guys the ones that we used to have and they used to be these little small um, square ones that I used to print here at home and ship out um, but that kind of got a little bit tedious because we'd be shipping out so many orders and then we would just use them up so fast and we'd have to like hand oop, and we'd have to like hand cut them and it was just a mission so i got these done at vista print and this is the front and this is the back of the card so the front is actually like shiny and i loved these little like laurel accents and this is what the front looks like i put my logo down here okay so this is the information that i like to provide to the customer when I send out my packages. So over here, 
I have a smiley face and a sad face and just information um, to let them know that you know if they love their order if they can leave us a review um, if they have any problems to let us know anytime that a customer has an issue I always like to fix it even if it may not even be their fault if it may not even be my fault like for whatever reason I like to fix it because you know I don't like to be like the kind of person that says no because it's not my fault I'm not gonna you know either send them a new one or refund them I'm just I'm very easygoing I like to keep the customers happy and make them happy all the time um, and then over here I have the care instructions this is what I put um, for customers um, on how to wash their shirts and make sure that they um, are doing this so that the um, embroidery doesn't get messed up and then down here I just have the links and stuff to the shop and Instagram and then um, again the logo right there and yeah I love how they turned out I think they came out really good and I paid about like I paid about like maybe $60 for 500 of them and that's a really good deal um, with Vista print um, Vista print always has a lot of sales and stuff like that and coupons so I definitely recommend if you're looking for something like this to buy it from them um, so yeah I just thought I'd share this with you guys I think it's gonna look really cute in the orders and yeah I love them okay so I am currently in the new office I'm setting up to take some pictures of some new samples and I want to show you guys so far what it is that I'm going to be doing I have my piece of plywood here and I'm gonna put it on the floor I'm not sure if I've told you guys before what it is that I use for my backdrop um, on my photos on my Etsy and it's actually a piece of plywood with um, uh, adhesive wood planks essentially so you buy these piece these pieces at Home Depot they look like this so they basically look like this and they have adhesive on the back and I know that you could just buy a backdrop at um, Amazon but the reason that I don't like the backdrop is I feel like you can tell that it's not real wood and I feel like these little planks look so close to real wood like when you look at them up close they have the texture of wood so i just feel like in pictures it just looks so much better so i have this set up i'm just these adhesive um wood pieces are so annoying they come off so easily my dad's gonna actually like permanently glue them so all right so i just set up i have these two lamps that I bought here and then I'm gonna decorate with some little pumpkins and stuff because um, I'm doing Halloween themed shirts let's turn on the lights there's one and then there is two so I'm just gonna put the plank where the light hits and they turned off okay weird so now i have the lights going and i'm going to set up the i'm going to set up the mat so i can get it ready for a picture so i put you guys over here so this is what it looks like from the top and i'm going to put the onesie here and then some fabric patches because I'm going to give the customer an option to choose between um, fabrics and this is the first onesie that I'm going to be doing tell me this is not the cutest thing ever and then I'm gonna hi I'm sorry at the light the photography light is like right in my face so I look really white um, and then I'm going to offer the customers to be able to change the fabric on the pumpkin so they can choose either between an orange, a little um, gangnam style, I think that's what it's called, and then the pumpkin fabric. So, can I show you guys? Tell me what you guys think. 
So the picture is gonna be sort of like this. And then obviously like cut it. Maybe if I bring this, something like that, that's kind of how I want the picture to be. So, let's see, let's play around. So this is what it's looking like so far. You can see just this peeking through here. I think I like it, I think it's cute. I think it's gonna work out. I'm obsessed with this one though. I think this one's my favorite for sure. I'm gonna go get a mint roller really quick. I'll be right back. sure if you are posting a black shirt or a black anything you knit all it because you guys already know that black just grabs onto everything even if you're gone i won't forget you you're all i know what i know same font but using in a white onesie with the pumpkin fabric Okay, so I took all of the pictures um, that required me taking them on the piece of plywood on the floor, and now I'm going to take a picture of this set. I like to take a picture of the shirt on the floor first, of just the shirt, because when you put a shirt, this shirt on the mannequin, it like, stretches it out a little bit. The mannequin is very dense. Not like a normal kid's body. It stretches the shirt out. And then what I like to do is push the tutu forward so that it shows how poofy it is. So I just push the, the pieces forward. I feel like this would be the perfect like outfit that you can um, send your daughter off to school or your son, doesn't matter, off to school with. Let me know if you guys like the new items or if you guys have any suggestions of um, anything that I can do for Halloween. I didn't want to go all out. I feel like for Halloween this year, it's kind of going to be a little bit laid back. I don't think there's going to be a lot of trip and treaters, so I didn't want to like go all out, especially with everything going on with the pandemic. So if you guys have any suggestions like to um, post on my shop of um, something that could most likely sell for Halloween, um, make sure to leave them down below and let me know and um, I'll see if that's something that I could do. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and um, any questions that you may have or if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye.